Okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for Magic Square's take on a Blastoff figure. Just a reminder, this is only the transformation process and the review is separately uploaded. Also, I intend this to be a tutorial, so it's going to be detailed and descriptive. And to be honest, it's very fiddly and intricate, so I hope it helps you out um, and it may take some time. Right then, let's start off with the arms. This is, and to be fair, it is really clever. So what we're looking to do first and foremost is if you take the fist and if you put enough pressure down here, you can bring the hand and then if you turn around on this side you can see you've got this little tab there that will allow you to just move this tab down so once you've done that you can then rotate this over swing your arm around at the same time twist the fist tuck that back in and close it back up and then when you've done that you're going to turn this around and you're just going to tab that in there as well so you've got the one arm pretty much ready so on this side what it is that we need to do you can see it all tucked away in there you need to put enough pressure on the fist here to separate the tab um, on the back like so oh it's just missed it but I want to show you there there it is so you can put enough pressure on this there it is to bring that down rotate the nose cone bring the fist around as well and then close that up and click it in same process now here bring this up and we're looking to, oh, I need to line this back up. So if we look at the, how they're looking underneath, we need to get them to be the same. So bring this up and over and tab that in. Now, if we just lift the head slightly up, this can then bring both of these sides out. Now, this is where it gets clever because everything seems to fold out on itself. So let's fold the chest part out first and the back bit out. If we stay with the chest part, you can bring this right out. That'll fold out. This will then fold out as well, and then at this point, take the opportunity to push what is the landing gear up and out as well. So that's how you're looking for this part. Bring it down sort of out of the way for now. Then you're going to take this part, which was tucked into the back, bring this up, rotate this 180 degrees, line that up, and then tab it into there like so. Fold out the nose cone, slot that back along the slider, and then this is where it gets tough for people who haven't really got nails or stumpy hands. We need to then bring these out. So you can see these little bits like my, I've got stumpy fingers, so they don't, it's it's not the greatest. So maybe use some tweezers or a spudger, or in my case, a fork, because I haven't got anything at hand. Right, fold that out. And now I'm sure you can tell that that is gonna be the front of your spaceship. This is gonna be the underside. We're gonna come to these bits in a second. I just need to lift this up. And then this was on the back of him. Fold this out like so. And now let's start to bring, I suppose, this together. So let's tab, oh, tab the uh, roof into this. Oh, I've just missed it. In fact, I'll come to there in a second. Let's sort out the head and the wheel. So bring this up, fold that down, tuck the head in, and then rotate this around. So bring this to rotate around. You can see now how this is gonna take shape. So let's take the arms, bring these together. If I move that out of the way, you'll see you've got these tabs that will fit there, no problem whatsoever. Then you can take the roof part. This is going to tab in via all of these tabs, just like so. Then we needed to take this bit. That's the bit that's just keep kept slotting out of position. So now it's fixed, I can push it in, be a bit firmer, that's gonna stay there. And then this bit needs to fit like a jigsaw piece into all of this. But what I'm doing, you can see, is holding up the landing gear at first, and then I'm gonna click that in, just about like so, and that is the front of your spaceship. So if we move on to the legs, um, again, these are quite intricate, but not too bad. So let's open these up. Um, let's fold this wing down, fold this purple part down, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna to start to open, I suppose, all of this up. This part here on the top of the uh, shin will lift up, move the foot down, so then you can slot, slide this. See that's on that slider there, slide this all the way out. This is gonna give you time now to open up this, open up this, and then fold that around. Told you it was quite tricky and quite intricate. Um, then we'll also take the opportunity to take what was the foot, and then rotate this over on itself so it's like a blaster and then also just to push the other blaster part out as well 
Okay, that's that part. Before you close it up, there's more stuff to fold out. Take the top part, fold this out, and then fold this out underneath it as well. I mean, it really is, um, I'm not gonna say an intricate mess because it does sort of flow, but it's, yeah, it's, it's nuts, these figures. They're absolutely nuts. Right, so let's get this back looking how it sort of should be. So what we need to do, we need to piece all this together. So close where the foot is. That's going to line up there. This is, of course, where it was before. I just need to make sure, you've got to make sure that that grey tab fits into there, like so. So now we can start to close everything up. Close that bit over the top, on top of what was the shin of his leg. Once you've got that in, you've got some sort of semblance and you can keep it together. Um, lift this part out of the way. The purple bit is going to line up with the side of the space shuttle like so and then to be honest i'm going to try and do it this way around if you any of you saw the review this is where it starts to be really difficult because the whole of the shuttle is hollow i'm just pushing that tab through there and that's actually allowed me to do that and if we turn our attention to the underside this is going that little tab is going to tab into there and then this is going to tab into the wing there and then we can bring that out there fold this out bring that back and there's the one side so yes i am keep pausing it in between because i don't want <laughs> to mess the rest of this up it seems to be working quite well so that's the one side we are going to the next side so same principle let's fold out this fold out this open up the shin open up the open up the shin open up the foot all of this is opening up like so i'm going to turn um this into the thruster before i forget so what you need to do that is bring it through that way rotate it all the way over itself like so bring out this small thruster just like that right now because we've slid that out along the slider fold this up fold this out and then rotate it over as well like this because this is another bit it's going to separate there and fold out let's sort of keep that out of the way for now and let's look at trying to get this back together in a second. So we don't forget this top part here, which was the back of the leg. This folds out as well. I can't get underneath. This is going to fold out. Right, let me see if I can rest it there so you can see what I'm doing. Rotate this out and indeed up. And see what I mean about how hollow all this is there? So when you start to piece all this together in a second, it's really quite difficult. So if I lift this up, you can see what I'm doing with this. That gray tab needs to line up with this. So we're gonna close that over there. Don't forget to close the foot in. I'm gonna put these back tabs together as well, actually, because this should now allow me to hold everything together a little bit more. So let's close that in there. See these two tabs there? I'm sure you can see this is going to, yep, hold the back of the shuttle together. We can then close, oh, let's lift this up. Lift this up, trying to get it to line up with these tabs without collapsing it underneath. Fold this over, bring that into that tab there, like so. Tab this little bit under there. Tab it into the back of the wing there. And then this is the problem that I get now, guys. Um, so if I don't get it straight away, I'm just going to give you an idea rather than me spend 15 minutes or so trying to tab this together. Because if you've got the idea, you can see what I'm doing. These are all ready. What I need to do is get this to close nicely into this gap here without collapsing like I've done. See what I mean? This part here. So if you look at the side, it's not too bad. It's, it's oh, there you go. I just pushed it in and the sides came in. I'm going to spend literally no more than another minute or so trying to correct this um there's no way you can get underneath there or through i don't think so or through there to no because it's blocked by the leg so what happens is once this happens you've got to open it back up like so and don't forget there's a couple of things tabbed into it to then realign this up so i'm going to lift it right the way up and this so hopefully they'll stay out of the way this will now tab back in um and then is it going to hold for me? Please hold for me because I'd like to get this done in a relatively small take. But as I said, I'm giving you the idea um, of what it needs to do. So that's going to go there. That's just came out and underneath. So I need to hold that in, lift that out. That's now flush. And this is typically all come out now as well. 
that's going to slot in hopefully if i just apply a teeny bit of pressure that's going to go in there this should clip in i think i've gone and done it is it all in yes i'm more excited about that than you guys probably are there you go that is the shuttle mode so then we've obviously got to take him back and thankfully this is much much easier because it is just a case of pulling everything apart and starting to clip it all back together so separate there separate at the back there and the rest will then pull apart what we're looking to then do is separate these side parts here what you can then do is you can fold this over there you can bring this back as well if we lift this up you've got much more freedom with with collapsing it up you've got much more ways that you can do it so we're going to fold that over fold that in fold that in there and then fold as i say this over as well it's much much easier to condense everything back uh, because it doesn't need to be done or held in a specific order so same with this flip that up fold this down tuck it in there don't forget to tuck away your thruster fold this over let's collapse that into there close the back of this on it that's just came out as well so what we're looking to do if i lift up this purple bit you'll see what i'm trying to do this is of course the leg that's going to go in and that is now all holding together nice and securely don't forget your foot bring this through rotate this fully 180 degrees on itself it is stiff it is tough to do which way am I going? Maybe I'm going the wrong way with this. Let's have a look. No, it's going to come out. I just try to see this hinge. There's a tiny hinge there. I need to turn it over on itself. That's better. And there's your toes. Okay, same with this side. Open up the shin. So let's take this part, fold it over, fold it. Oh, it's stuck on here. You can't see what I'm doing. Disconnect it from that tab, fold it over there, tuck it down into there and then fold this over don't forget this part here tuck that in fold this into the back of there fold the uh, rocket booster inside as well and then again start to collapse all this together don't forget you need that to tab into the leg so be aware that that's got to tab in before you start to close as i say absolutely everything up let's straighten that foot up this can now close over there this can close in there you've seen how that's just fit it didn't it just missed it there's the tab it's got to go into now you can close the shin via all of these tabs and fold that back same principle after we've done the tail fold that over and tuck that around we need to do the same with the foot on here though so bring it through tuck it all the way around it's so stiff it really is crazy stiff right good news is there's the legs. I'm going to do this in one take, so let's just carry on. So let's separate the nose cones here, like so. And then you can grab this and slowly pull that out. Once you've done that, you've got a lot of range of motion now that you can start to take this all apart. So there's the front, there's the back. I've just pushed that in by accident. I was just going to separate this, but then you do need to tuck that in underneath. Leave that there. Okay, let's separate the arms. Let's create this space. Looks a bit like the T-1000 at the end, but it'll make sense in a second. Lift it up. Fold that into there. Fold this into there. And then fold it all the way in. That tucks in. This, you need to turn it on its this axis. That's the problem, which I think I always used to get stuck at and most people tend to not realise. So you've got to push this in there. In fact, you haven't. You've got to fold this over, fold this over, bring it down and just slot it up. But what you need to do as you bring this up and over, you need to get it to turn on this swivel there. So you see this swivel where it's going to come in? Rotate it there 180 degrees. Now bring it up and over and now tuck it into the back. So what you've got there is that's what it should look like. A complete folded out mess. <laughs> right. Take the head fold this out that way bring it over we'll leave the arms out of the way for now to be honest i'm going to tuck them out of the way but what we need to do then is open up this chest push the purple parts all the way up they're going to be clipped in via them two gray clips like so it's just missed that one and then this little black slot there brown slot sorry needs to come over this pink part and that's your head into position home stretch now guys let's take the arms Take the nose cone, separate it, swing the fist out, swing the nose cone round, bring the fist there, click this in there, but then separate at that point. 
bend it down at the bicep joint. There you go. That's come off, but we'll correct that in a second. Same again with the hand then. Take the nose cone, separate, swing this out, roll that over while swinging the fist the other way. Clip that in, separate there, there's your bicep. You can lift up that bit at the back, tuck it over, and then as I say, finally, once again, because of all the movement, bring this over, tab that in there, and then to be honest, just correct the orientation. And there he is back in robot. As I say, quite long-winded, but hopefully descriptive enough for you. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Take care.